Remembering someone with our patellar tendinopathy is usually a young male jumping athlete, so we they need to be in the gym. So we don't need to worry about um, coming up with home exercises because they are elite athletes and they need to be in the gym and they need to make sure the rest of their kinetic chain is good enough. So the exercises that they would get is I usually start my way up from the bottom. So remember I said before they need excellent calf. So it's actually the soleus that decelerates the tibia and helps you propel back the other way. So they would get seated calf raise. They were with weighted single leg but each leg, standing calf raise, seated, uh, sorry, single leg but each leg. They'd get isolated quadriceps and the best way to do that is a leg extension machine because you can't use anything else. Um, You can't find a way to cheat the way you can with a squat or some sort of other multi-joint exercise. So that would be single leg. If you're going to do isometrics, it would be at around about mid-range, say 45 to 60 degrees five lots of 45 seconds and heavy is what they can do well without the reverberation. Um, If you're going to also add in isotonics or go straight to isotonics, it would be through whatever range they can do comfortably. Um, People with patellar tendinopathy don't like having their knee out completely straight. No one knows the reason for that. It's very odd, but they don't. So I, I just get people to go through range and it's nice and slow. So 